It's mailbag time here at Chat Sports. All the questions coming in from our live audience. So if you want your questions on the show, go ahead and subscribe. That way you don't miss out in the future. From Cole, who should I sign in fantasy after, after dra dropping Kadarius Toney when I drafted him? I didn't consider the team he's on. Uh, it's very tough for me to answer that without knowing, you know, who's available in your waiver wire uh, and how many, you know, what format you're in, how, how many players there are. So I'm sure there's a receiver who's out there that could make some sense. You know, maybe you you pursue someone. Oh God, let me let me just look at my waiver wire here. Um, you know, maybe you could pursue someone who is below 50% rostered. Uh, let's see. You could pursue a you could go someone who I know will be available, an Anthony Miller or a Deontay Harris, something along those lines. It's I know the answer. The options aren't great. Um, a Darnell Mooney. Ooh, here's okay. Here's one for you. If you want to go with a different rookie receiver, I would recommend Elijah Moore. That one intrigues me even more so than Kadarius Toney does. From James Castillo, what do you think about the Niners signing Josh Newman? Or, or Josh Norman, you mean, excuse me. Um, interesting pickup. Norman was not great last year for, uh, for the Bills, and he's not the same guy he was in his prime. But if you want veteran depth with upside – you know, maybe Norman ends up being that guy. So, big-time name, not the same caliber of player he once was, but it was an intriguing option that the Niners added in Josh Norman. Cheater Jewel text, does Denver have a top 5D, if not top 10D? I absolutely think so. I think this Denver Broncos defense is going to be very, very good this year. Oh, by the way, since we had a fantasy question earlier, I like to rotate my defense all season long. I picked up Denver in the, in the, in the last round. I think, I think that's a very good pickup for fantasy because, A, the opening schedule is good. Giants, Jags, Jets, the first three weeks. The, the, those should be three good matchups for Denver. Now, do, do, do they win all three? Who knows? It's not that hard of a schedule. I like Denver both in real life and in fantasy. From Al Hall, uh, if the Dolphins don't trade for Deshaun Watson now, could they at the NFL trade deadline? What is Deshaun Watson's legal issues and how is Tua playing? If Tua is playing great, this is not a conversation. And I think it won't be one at trade deadline anyway because I don't think Watson gets cleared. I know the reports are out there around Deshaun Watson and Miami, so I get the question. But if Tua plays great, if he looks like Justin Herbert in the first five games this year, they're not going to trade for Deshaun Watson. And that is what Miami wants Make no mistake about it. So, in the end, because of all the issues Deshaun is facing off the field, I have a tough time seeing him actually getting traded this year. But what do you guys think? Will Deshaun Watson be traded before the end of the NFL regular season? Type Y for yes or type an N for no. From Trevor, Ben DiNucci needs to be that Taysom Hill role. Remember, Hill sucked with Green Bay. Danucci is another shot he can play multiple positions. Can he, though? Can Danucci actually play special teams? Can he play tight end? I don't think so. He's not as big as Taysom Hill is, a little bit smaller. And frankly, why would I invest so much in a specialized role when I have a franchise quarterback and tons of other playmakers? Why would I take the ball out of Dak Prescott's hands to give it to Taysom Hill? Or, or in this case, Ben Danucci. I don't think that is a role that NFL teams should be pursuing, period. From Chill Will, have the Chiefs done enough this offseason for another Super Bowl run? They have Patrick Mahomes. So long answer short is yes, they have. Uh, they absolutely have done enough for this Super Bowl run. Uh, Goat wants to know, when are you guys eating mac and cheese? So we did that during the Cowboys-Texans preseason game goat uh i will send you the timestamp of the video hit me up on twitter at what going downy that was consumed it was not that good uh from elise pin you have a chance fourth and five down by a score would you have aaron Rodgers or mahomes as your quarterback first off i'd feel great about either 
I'm still going to take Mahomes. I think he is just the better quarterback right now in the NFL. Jason Kendall, when do you think Pat Fryermuth takes over for Eric Ebron? <sighs> Full time, maybe by the end of this year. Um, I don't think the Steelers want to do Ebron too dirty yet. I like Pat Fryermuth. He was a firm round two great That's where he ended up going. I like him. Ebron's still a good football player, so it's not going to be a direct giving of, of, of the torch or handing of the torch over, I, sh I should say. But I'd say at minimum, by the start of, of next year, Friar Muth is tight is tight one. It's a matter of when, not if, for him emerging as the Steelers' tight end one going forward. Now, speaking of, of first-year players, who is your favorite rookie this year in the NFL? And yes, if you guys want, you can just answer your favorite rookie on your favorite team. That's fine with me. Get your votes in in the comments section. Jason Joyner, should Seattle sign Trey Boston? If they want... Safety's not a major concern for me. You have Jamal Adams, you, you have uh, Quanta Diggs, you have Ryan Neal, and you can play both Ugo Amadi and Marquise Blair at safety. So I like Trey Boston. I think for the limited roster space that Seattle has, barring injury, I don't think safety is that big of a concern. From Anisha Nod, I drafted DK Metcalf over A.J. Brown in fantasy football. Is that a good idea? You know, I've got them like right by each other on my list, so I got no problem with it. I also would have no problem if, if you took A.J. Brown over DMF. This is not like you're taking a DJ Moore over A.J. Brown. You're taking two players in the same tier. Pick whichever one you like more. There's no problem with that one. Steve Weeks, what in your opinion the Chargers need to do to compete against the Chiefs? Uh, you need to just remember to play, to play great. Uh, the Chiefs are a beatable football team. Doesn't mean it's easy. They are. There is no garbage time with Kansas City. They are always in the mix because of how explosive that offense is. So for LA, as cliche as it sounds, you got to play four strong quarters. I watched the Raiders outplay the Chiefs for three out of four qu quarters handily. The issue is... They got destroyed in the second quarter, and they lost that game as a result. So because of that, you gotta you got to be consistent, got to hold on the football, and you got to play aggressive throughout. If you try to go into clock control mode early, they're going to make you pay. Just ask the Deshaun Watson and the Houston Texans in that playoff game. Now, you can bet on or against KC or any NFL team with our sportsbook partner, BetUS. Head over to chatsports.com slash bet and use the promo code that you see on screen. That is NFL Daily. When you put down 100 bucks, they're going to get you 125 bucks on top of that. It's a great deal. So go to chatsports.com slash bet. Use that promo code and use NFL Daily. For Mark Mulo, hey, Tom, how are you? I'm good. Hope you're good too, Mark. Will all the Patriots' offseason work implode before their eyes? I think the Patriots will be a good football team. It depends on what their expectations are for, uh, for their offspring. Are they going to be a Super Bowl contender? No. I don't think that's going to be a likely outcome. Are they going to be a borderline playoff team? I still think yes. 